the blitz box, when they travel, tend to find the best places to have coffee. I've heard that Wellington uh, on the Sevens World Series has a pretty good coffee culture. Kyle Brown and Justin Kimbo from the Blitz Box joining us here at the Super Sport Coffee Shop. I've got a little S on my cappuccino. What did you order, Justin? Uh, flat white. A flat white. You've got a scorpion on top. Yes. And then good what have you got over there? Just a good classic Americano. So what's the difference between the three? Because I always just go for the cappuccino. Okay, real quick, cappuccino is supposed to be a drink of thirds. Third espresso, third milk, third foam, and the uh, uh, flat white's always double shot with what they call it's supposed to be textured milk, and you shouldn't actually see the difference between the milk like delineation there. So, there is a lot closer to that than what we would actually like in the profession. <laughs> and, and your Americano, you've had a bit of a sip there? Double shot with, uh, with hot water and a little bit of milk. And um, a rating out of 10 on that one. I know that you're a big coffee snob, <laughs> so you can let rip, it's okay. It's like a three or four maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna have to no, I'm gonna have to gloss over that with Sunday, <laughs> our favorite barista here, because he literally keeps T V land afloat. Like all of us literally just run on coffee. But and you guys are quantity, not quality. Yeah, we're all about hours. like makum. You need coffee. Yeah. yeah. And as many and as regular as basically you can. What does rugby run on? If we run on coffee. Love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, rugby runs on running. <laughs> Basically just loads of just it. Just loads and loads of running. And cardio. Seventh rank. Run more. Eat as much as you can. We get asked that a lot. I get asked that a lot. Are oh, you on a special diet or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, just keep your weight up. Just as, as much long as, as long as, as you can Yeah, as long as you can keep your weight up. I struggle to promote so like if I don't eat properly I lose weight. Because I offered you donuts earlier and you actually said yes. Most guys when they come here, they're like, what kind of evil are you? I can't eat a donut. We can pretty much eat whatever we want. We, I don't know, I was, I sometimes I wear this like fitness tracker and I think the average calorie burn for a guy is like 2,400. We probably hit like five to 6,000 on, on a big day. Yeah. So I can eat. You have to manage it. So you have to manage it. <laughs> Yourself. No, oh. You don't have a diet or anything. Like, you don't have someone standing Something there. specific you have to eat. But you can't go eat 10 donuts. <laughs> mm. So he hunts uh, coffee shops whenever you guys And travel. he comes along. And you, do, you, do you actually go along? <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times I go with him. But most of the time I try and sleep. Are you as, <laughs> as, you, are you as difficult as he is when it comes to coffee? No, not actually, but... When I, when, I, when I drink coffee, I actually would like to have some nice coffee, so that's why I prefer to go with him. You haven't touched yours, so. I have. Oh. I'm just trying to, to, to drink it nice so that my scorpion doesn't go away. <laughs> Did you ask for the scorpion? No. So Sunday is obviously just in tune with you. Mm, so the tail. <laughs> so tell me about the hair. How much maintenance does that take? Uh, no, it takes a lot of maintenance because uh, you have to maintain your hair to turn it. Every time it grows out. Mm. So how often is that? Uh, once every month. Mm -hmm. month. Yeah, so... And then how long the, does that take? Keep, keep stays in for like two, three weeks, two weeks. But how long does the turning take? Oh, no, it doesn't take too long. It takes like uh, two hours ago. Do you do it? No, no, I go to the address. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're in Ravensmead away. No, in Stellenbosch. In Stellenbosch. Mm -hmm. In Ravensby, don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then, how does it work with the thread around it? It's just wool that I wrapped around my hair, mm -hmm. just for the, for the colors. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and it also helps your hair grow faster. Oh. So, so you can start wrapping your I was going to say, maybe I should take a tip Because <laughs> I can't get mine to grow. Did your hair grow quickly? Yes. <laughs> like, it's long now. You can see I put the stuff in last year end of November, before we went to Dubai, mm -hmm. and it's already grown that much so out. So this growth is yeah. from November? Yes. No. That's impressive. Yeah, so. How does your mom feel about your hair? Does she like it? Yeah. Justin's mom loves everything about Justin. So, I mean, the hair is perfect. Justin is perfect. I can't do an exaggerate. <laughs> your mom loves you. <laughs> Justin's love mom still packs I'm his bag for him I'm before a baby. tour. It's, uh, she, I mean, Justin is his mom's little, little boy, my little boy, and she looks after him very, very nice. Good luck to the future mevrouw gedult, hey? Yeah. Yes. They've set a high standard there. That standard is right up there. She packs the bags, <laughs> she loves everything about you. Um, so you've got a, what, four month old now? 
How's Ethan doing? Little Ethan is a little man. He's very cool. He's really, really cool. We just started getting him on solid, so he doesn't quite like the rice cereal very much. So we got him onto some sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Well, sweet potato likes that. Um, Taryn's experimenting with most of the stuff, and I just hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> seems, you, seems to be going well. You change nappies. I changed nappies. Never home. I changed nappies. <laughs> The thing is, like, I can't, from the beginning, I, you couldn't get involved too much as a guy. It's like, the mom and the kid are, they're just inseparable. The one thing you could do as a dad is change nappies. Take one for the team. Change as many as you can and be a hero, you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's quite cool. They're cool stories, too. You get good, like, good credit and good props for changing. Yeah. Does, he, does he yap on about Ethan a lot? Not really. So you don't get videos the whole time. I will show you, photos, I will show you pictures if you want. I got them loaded. I got an album actually. I made his own album. Like a little phone. Ethan. Ethan folder. Yeah. Gosh. He's cool. You're one of those parents now. You know how cute he is. <laughs> this is like he's a cute studio on the ground. This is like the <laughs> play with his stuff. Just chill. <laughs> so yeah. very happy with him. Yeah. Has, he, has the experience of him becoming a dad made anyone else broody? Like because you guys are now hanging out with someone. A little mini not me. Around. Have you not to, you. Have you chatted to some of our other teammates? No, I'm saying not me. I don't know what that is. Wondering if I should mention names. <laughs> oh, really? Um, some pretty daddies there. Also, we're going to have a new dad soon, mm. Philip. Oh yes, of course. Philip's wife is pregnant. I think uh, July. Is yeah, it's very right close. Very, now. very close. Yeah. So he's very excited. And then Philip's next door neighbor. We don't have to mention names. Oh, I know who that is. Dead keen on kids. <laughs> Super. Really? So, I mean, he's like in love with Ethan. Him and Ethan are good mates, and they've talked about <laughs> hanging out one day. <laughs> so. Ethan is four and a half months old, and he's already got a bestie. The thing is, when, <laughs> when I took Ethan there the one day, and and he was playing with him, and then he didn't stop like laughing at that guy. <laughs> so now this guy thinks he's like the, obviously Ethan loves me. So I'm pretty good with kids, you know. Okay. Yeah. So the moral of the story is. Go onto social media and try and figure out who Philip Snyman's neighbor is. It's a coffee club with the Blitzbox. Cheers, guys. Well done Cheers. on the win. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>